Comcast should help you create a building that uh, cuboid that's under a facade, which is in relation to the Type 2 portfolio for the IB, uh, building a functional building or whatever it's called, something like that. Uh, so we're going to start by um, moving these axes. We're going to start, let's define a function, and we're actually going to define a piecewise function. To do that, you type in if down at the bottom in the input, and then um, we're going to go x is greater than negative 3, space, and, and, space, x is less than 3, comma, and we'll go minus x squared plus 9, which will look something like this. Okay, that's pretty good. And we're going to uh, just control click. Um, click on x-axis colon y-axis and we'll do a 1 to 2 so it'll look like that and then we are going to type in if um, we're going to shift this point right here which is negative 3 0 up to here so that's shifting it over 3 and up 2 and then that will shift uh, this point over 3 and up 2. So now our new limits will be x is greater than 0 and x less than 6 comma and we'll do the same function but shifted so that's minus x minus 3 squared plus and this was plus not the original was plus 9 and we're going to shift it up 2 so now it's 11. Okay, and now we're going to turn the grid on. Should have done that before. This will help us build some things. So now we're just going to use this uh, this little triangle polygon feature uh, for most of the time now. Click on this and click on. Uh, we'll make a base. Let's say our base. Oh, we'll make a front actually. So we'll start with A here. Go down to the x-axis. Go over to two and up to the original function and then always close it all four points if you start at A you finish at A so now let's start at A again and we'll go over to the other function we'll go down you don't have to be exact we can change all of these later they're all connected we'll go over to B and then finish at A we started at A we finished at A and then we'll go over to C here um, let's see, right there, and right here, sorry, go over to D, and then down to C, and then we'll do the back side, E, H, G, F, and E, okay, so that's pretty good, we can click on our cursor here, our move tool, and you can see we can we can take this thing anywhere we want. It's pretty slick. Um, and we'll click on the polygon again, and we'll make some floors. So let's just make some. We'll just make one floor. So we'll click here. Go over to the side uh, C D. We'll go back to G H. We'll go over to E F. I believe that is, and then down uh, back to I and click on the move tool we should be able to move these floors so this is pretty cool this will be very helpful in terms of your IA uh, creating some really nice visuals um, for that assignment And if you click on view click off the axes click off the grid and then lastly you can right click or control click on, um, on the points click on object properties and you can turn off all the labels so you don't have to see all the all the names all the letters and you can keep doing that so then after you do this you should have a pretty nice uh, picture for your project